How much can you make selling merchant services? This is a question I get asked all the time by agents. Hi, my name is James Shepard. I've been recruiting and training sales agents in the merchant services industry for quite a while now. And I get asked one question more than any other question, and that is, how much money can I make? Now, first of all, let me say that I'm assuming that you're selling on our sales team. Like I said, I recruit agents. Uh, CC Biz Pro is a company that recruits agents, trains them through our CC Sales Pro brand, and we work with a bunch of different processors. Um, our primary two processors are North American Bank Card and Total Merchant Services. Now, the reason that we work with them is because, you guessed it, they pay the most money. So I can assure you that after doing this for four years and having been approached by every processor out there, um, we have found the processors that pay the most money and those are the processors that we like to use, obviously, for our agents. So if you're not already on our sales team, then I can't really guarantee how much money you're gonna make because I'm basing my numbers off of my own experience training and recruiting hundreds of agents for North American Bank Card and Total Merchant Services. By the way, if you're interested in joining our sales team, all you have to do is click the link below this video or go to ccsalespro.com, ccsalespro.com. It's free to get started. We have all kinds of training resources. So maybe you're out there and you're with another processing company or maybe you had a bad experience with a processing company and you think, I am not gonna get into that industry again. Well, think again. You might have just been with the wrong processor. You might not have had the support and sales training that you needed. My name is James Shepard, and I can promise you, if you're on our sales team, we provide sales training and support, and we will help you succeed in this industry. All right, enough of all that. Let's answer the question. So, how much money can you make selling merchant services? I have found a couple of different ways to answer that question, but the easiest way for me to answer that question is like this. If you're going to sell merchant services on our sales team, you are going to make between 15 to $25 per hour in upfront money that you spend doing three different activities, okay? So if you look at how much time you're gonna invest into this business, if you look at how much time you spend doing these three things and multiply that times 15 to $25 per hour, you'll know how much money you're gonna make in upfront commission. Now, keep in mind as I give you these numbers that there's also residual. The whole reason to get into this business in the first place is to build up residual income. Uh, most of our top agents after a year have already built up three to $6,000 a month in residual income, but that money's not there when you get started. So how much can you make up front? Well, if you take these three activities, okay, how much time do you spend meeting business owners for the first time how much time do you spend obtaining processing statements? And how much time do you spend presenting cost analysis to merchants? Okay, those three activities. Now, here's what a lot of agents get at kind of a misconception, you know? They think that this is like a get rich quick plan. It's not, okay? If you're not planning to put in the time, then don't expect to make the money. But if you're willing to work full time on the business, plan to make a full time amount of money from it. All right. So if you want to know how much money you're going to make, um, if you're going to work 10 hours a week for this business, you're probably only going to make an average of 150 to 250 dollars a week. Again, 10 hours times 15 to 25 dollars per hour. And also, I'm only looking at the hours you spend doing prospecting. Um, you know, you're out meeting new business owners. You're going back to obtain a statement, or you're presenting a cost analysis because. All the other activities you do, those are not generating new revenue. That's just taking care of business, right? So you got to look at your schedule. Now, I have guys that they work 40 hours a week just doing those three activities. Then they spend another 20 hours a week doing administrative tasks, uh, installations, things like that. Now, those individuals, they're making a good amount of money. They're making $600 to $1,000 a week just in upfront compensation because they're spending 40 hours a week out in the field, um, you know, doing the prospecting. Um, so it's really all about the amount of time that you put in upfront. Now, here's another way that I can answer the question of how much money will I make selling merchant services? When an agent asks me that question, usually what they really want to know is how much am I going to make per sale? in upfront money and how much am I going to make in residual? They also want to know how long is it going to take for my residual to build up? So let me answer those questions for you real quickly. 
you're going to make an average of $275 in upfront commission on every sale that you make. You usually are going to make that money paid on approval. That means the day the sale is approved, you get paid within one to two business days after the sale is approved. It's paid on a sale by sale basis. Okay. Now, the reason I use $275 as an average is because almost all of your sales are going to pay at least $200 as a minimum. But then you're going to have some sales that pay a little bit more. There's some extra bonuses for not providing free equipment to the merchant or for getting a larger merchant. There's some extra bonuses that figure in there. So the average comes out to about $275 up front. That goes for either of our processing partners. If you work for North American Bank Card or Total Merchant Services, that average seems to hold pretty steady. So that's when I'm talking about your hourly rate. You know, it's not really paid by the hour. It's obviously paid per sale. But the idea is the more hours you work, the more sales you're going to make. I think that makes sense, right? Now, residual. You're going to make an average of about $30 per month in residual per account that you get going. So how quick will your residual build up? Well, let's think about it. My top agents sell between, that are, you know, my full-time agents, let me put it that way. My agents that are selling full-time, they're getting between 12 to 20 deals a month, okay? So let's go on the really low end, and let's say you had a month where you sold 10 accounts. Those 10 accounts are going to generate $30 per month in residual each, so that means your residual increased by about 10 times 30, which is $300, Now, your residual income, because you have to wait for the merchant to actually start processing to get that, it's usually about two months behind. So you're generating every month $300 in new residual on the low end. On the high end, if you have a month where you put up 20 accounts, 20 times 30, that's $600. So you could have a month where you generate $600 in new residual. So in other words, if you had one month where you had 10 sales, you generate $300 in residual. The next month you generate $600 in residual. That means that when that residual starts paying out in two or three months, you are going to have $900 of income uh, that's going to be paid out to you. Now keep in mind that money is life vested. In other words, that residual is tied only to the account. Many of you are with a processor where if you stop selling, you stop getting paid. Well, that's a problem because eventually you're going to stop selling. I mean, let's face it. Either you're going to retire, something's going to happen, okay? So when you stop selling, you want to know your residual is secure. And with both North American Bank Card and Total Merchant Services, which are the two processors we recruit for, your residuals are tied only to the account. So if you stop selling, that doesn't matter. As long as your accounts remain active, you continue to get your residual income for the life of that account. My name is James Shepard. Thanks for watching this video. If you'd like to learn more about joining our sales team, all you have to do is click on the link below this video or go to www.ccsalespro.com. I'd be glad to answer any questions you have, and I hope this training video helped answer the question of how much money you can make selling merchant services.